Oops. That's hard to do with one hand. guys uh yeah welcome to the video if you don't know who i am i am mallory curtis uh i am the owner of unique decks which is a company that makes professional handmade specialty fingerboards and this is the workspace tour this is where it all happens this is where i hand make all the all the fingerboards just like this this is a workspace that I rent out in a building with a bunch of other spaces like this where there's lots of artists, um, other craftspeople. Um, so you can really just make these spaces whatever you, whatever you need. Yeah, when I got this space, it was literally just an empty rectangle. So I had to make a lot of modifications as you can see, but I think it's, it's uh, turned out to be a uh, a very good workspace. This is the door. There's actually two, door two doors in this space, but this is the only one that I use. Right here you have just some hooks. So I just put like my bag and face mask, keys, that sort of thing. Um, pretty basic. <laughs> and then this corner here, I have uh, a fingerboard park that I use for events. I'm sure quite a few of you have used this park. It's be fun. I handmade it myself. And I have room for probably one or two more parks here, so I'm gonna be making a couple more parks hopefully this summer. Stay tuned for that. That's where the parks go. <laughs> and then this here is my desk where I do quite a few things. This is where I glue up boards and I get um, all of the plies for all the boards from this bin system here. The bins are organized by color and then so all the ones up here are vertical plies and then these are horizontal plies and as you can see there's some empty ones so that means I need to finish dyeing some more veneer. And yeah so I also do graphics here. Up above I have some bins, some bigger bins with more uh, smaller things, storage, all labeled so I can easily find what I need very quickly. And I try and stay organized, but to be honest, uh, it gets kind of messy in here sometimes. Here I have a fan. There's no AC in here, but this fan keeps it pretty cool. I have it turned off right now because I'm filming this video. Heater, shop vac. And then this little station here is what I like to call my fulfillment station. So this is where I send out all your orders. So I print labels from this computer here and they print the labels from here. This, this setup here, pretty simple. And then underneath here, I have a garbage can with a garbage hole from the top. So I can easily uh, throw away the little strip from the adhesive on the, on the bubble mailers and boxes and everything. And so I just have some, some storage under here for the, the mailers, um, small mailers, big mailers, and then the different size um, flat rate boxes. And then this here, this is one of the best things I've gotten for this entire workspace. It's, um, it's actually made for like industrial kitchens. It's a speed rack. And so on each of these trays, I can do a bunch of different things. So usually on the top six, I am lacquering boards, but I just finished a big batch, so I'm not lacquering any right now. Um, and then the six below that, these here, have um, these drying racks on them so that I can dry veneer once I take it out of the dye. And here's some that I need to put away. Um, this is a nice golden color. But yeah, so the the 
the drying rack allows the dye to drip down into the tray and uh, dries a lot quicker because there's air getting to the veneer from both sides. So yeah, that's worked out really, really great for me. Um, I could go into a lot more detail in all of the things in here, but if you have any questions, um, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to cover it in a later video. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a deeper dive into a lot of the things that I do here. Um, so here, this is usually closed. It's a shower curtain that separates this clean side here from what I call the dirty side. So on the dirty side, it's a lot less organized, um, but it gets the job done. Um, right here is my drill press. Drill press where I drill all the boards. So I have special drill bits for countersinking and drilling so everyone turns out exactly the same. In this space, I'm able to have like a very consistent workflow. I don't have to be messing with things all the time. Um, things can really just stay set exactly how they're supposed to be without me switching it out. So yeah, then next to, next to the drill press I have a belt sander, which this is where I do um, like customs, custom sizes, really just anything that I don't have a template made for. I, I make, I shape by hand. Um, and then here is my router table which I use templates for. I have a bunch of different templates. I have I have three different molds and then a bunch of different templates for each mold. So I probably have like, oh gosh, like 20 templates or something. So I can make almost anything. Um, and yeah, so the router is how you um, take a rectangle like this. The boards come out of the mold like this um, and turn into a board shape after the router so yeah and then I also sand I sand them to get all the nice rounding and all that so I do that over here I do things on this side because it makes dust and I don't want dust on the other side because I don't want dust to get in the lacquer it's the main thing and it's also just nice to have a space that's not all dirty so the only other major thing over here is the press which this is where I press all the boards, I can fit four molds in at one time. None are in there right now just because I, I just took a batch out. This is a cool little addition that I did. This is the handle for the press and I just mounted it on this wall with a piece of PVC pipe. And then, yeah, I have this shelf here but it's not too organized. But yeah, then under, under the table I have Stella's bed, dye for the veneer. This is where all the veneer is dyed. There's actually some in the orange right now that I should probably take out. And then yeah, my apron, which I wear when I'm sanding or doing anything that's gonna get me dirty. And then up here I have the uncut veneer. So this is how the veneer comes when I buy it. And then I have to cut it down into smaller sizes to uh, mold up. This is just all the stuff I haven't cut down yet and it's just held up with two shelf brackets. Up here I just have some extra uh, shipping supplies and some just random things up here. It's really functional. It gets the job done and having the two separate areas has been a real lifesaver. Um, my old space, I did everything in one room and it was, it worked, but um, it was not efficient. So I'm very, very happy to be in this new space. So yeah, let me just check out my notes. So yeah, the two sides, I made the two sides when I when I put up this wall. The main thing was to increase time efficiency, which I've definitely done. I can do multiple things at the same time. Um, and then also to improve the quality of the boards by having the designated spaces, like I, like I said before, I can really make sure that the the finishing quality of the of the boards, the the lacquering process is um, dust free and just as professional as can be. The improvements that I've made in here have uh, made my life a little easier, but also 
um, increase the quality of the boards, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for checking out my fingerboard workshop. Um, if you want to support Unique and you want to support my dream, um, check out uniquedex.co.co and uh, pick something out. Um, super awesome that you guys are all supporting, supporting what I'm doing and allowing me to even have this space. So uh, let's see what the future holds. I'm super excited and uh, I'll see you around. Have a good one. See you next time.